In this video, we're going to explore um, one of the easier ways to do a mail merge in Google um, to make labels, for example. And there are probably multiple ways to do this, but this is one that I've found to be relatively easy. So let's take a peek. First of all, um, in order to do a mail merge, um, that's really a merge between data and a spreadsheet or a Google Sheet in this case, and um, a document. So in this case, a Google Doc. So this is the spreadsheet that I'm going to use um, to make my labels or do this demonstration. So I have a list of staff members and I have a list of uh, where they'll be located for conferences. And I'm going to, I want to put those on my labels. And um, just to keep in mind, you should have a header row if you are going to um, do this successfully. So here's how we do this. Um, you literally just open a blank document. So I'm going to hit new and I'm going to open a Google document for my mail merge. And this requires an add-on and I've already got that add-on installed, but this would be a one-time thing that you would need to do if you haven't done this already. So if you go to add-ons, you see I have this one called the Avery uh, label merge. That's the add-on that you need to um, make these labels. If you don't have that, that add-on, you go to Get Add-ons. This is a huge um, reminder. Um, you will not find the Avery label merge as an add-on available for a spreadsheet. So if you're in here and you click on Add-ons and you go to Get Add-ons, mm -hmm. you won't find the Avery one because the Avery um, add-on is only available when you're in a Google Doc, not when you're in a Google Sheet. Okay, that will help you. So once you have it, you are going to say new merge and at this point you are going to choose um, what um, product you're going to use for your um, uh, labels. So you have name badges and address labels. I think that top one is the most common one, 5160. So that's an Avery product. You click select. And then it's going to ask you, okay, well, where's the data that you want to put on these labels? And so you're going to then be seeing kind of a snapshot of your Google Drive, just your sheets that are in there. And so you can do a keyword search up here. Or if you see it, um, in my case, um, I have it at the top because it's the last sheet that I opened. So I'm going to choose that sheet, the conference locations for the teachers, and I'm going to select it. And then over on the right hand um, side is your add-on and keep in mind that what you see here is the column headers and so that's why that's important. So every single label, if I look over on the left hand side, I want to have the name of the staff member and I want to have the location they'll be in. So I would take and click on this and it's going to put that um, piece of data right there and then I'm going to press return and I want to have their conference location. And let's just say that I want this to be a little bit bigger and bolder. So let's say I could bold it and I could make it a little bit bigger like that. So that's possible to do some formatting. And um, if you go down here, this is to specify what rows is that spreadsheet you want to make a label for. So in this case, I am going to do all the rows, but you wouldn't have to do all the rows. Um, you could um, change that and just do part of them. So ultimately you're just going to hit the merge button and then what happens is it really just generates a whole new document at this point. So this document that you opened that was a blank document it now is not useful you can trash it but I want to open the new one and it always gives your document this name so you may want to change that name right off the bat. So I'm going to call this conference locations, term three. And then I'm going to go back here. And like I said, this is um, no longer useful to you. So you can go under the file menu and you can move it to the trash. That's it. That's how I make labels um, in Google Drive or Google Docs.